Good morning, my sweet babies. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Queen Inspirations, where you will have five minutes of encouragement, five minutes of inspiration. Put that together to hopefully help you have a better than great day. Y'all, I'm so excited and I am so happy this morning. God is so good. He's so good and I'm so glad to know him. He's so good, y'all. Listen. I have woke up this morning. This song was in my spirit. I have been singing this song for like a whole day, probably longer. This is called I'm Alive, and it's by Rich Tober Jr. Whoo! It's so many things that could have taken us out of here naturally and spiritually. We could have been dead in the mind. We could have been dead in the heart, dead in the spirit, dead physically. We could have been out of here, but because God already knows the plans. Let me get to the scripture. Jeremiah 29 11 one of a famous scripture that's in the Bible and we should know it uh, word for word I don't yet forgive me Jesus but God says for I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you says the Lord plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope God doesn't want us to be destroyed. God wants us to give him the things that is destroying us. Y'all, I was in prayer. I was in gratefulness this morning. And I could not do anything but just like scream quietly. Because <laughs> I don't want to wake up the building. But I just could not help but be so grateful. Because I remember a time, like I was in prayer. And there was a time, and I had talked to some of my faves about this that like in worship and just in relationship with God, I would always hit a wall. It was always a wall and I could not get past that wall. And like the Bible says, um, plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster. Y'all walls are created to keep something in to compartmentalize something like even the ceiling is a wall. The floor is a wall. And I mean, you're just surrounded you're enclosed. God does not want us to just be enclosed with, with things from the enemy and things that are separating us from him. I was in a complete prison. I was still serving God as, as much as I could. I was still worshiping and praising as much as I could, but I could not get past this wall. I would get right here and could not get any further. And I had, this wall was something, okay? This wall I can't say it all right now because it'll take too long, but this wall was an enemy to my soul. It was a block. It was a stumbling block. It was something I was dealing with that I did not give to the Lord fully. I gave him bits and pieces. I didn't give him all of it. And this wall was blocking me from my savior. This wall was blocking me from my king. So I had to give that thing to the Lord. And then, you know, like while we're in our process and we're giving God things and, you know, we're surrendering, we're open up, opening up our hearts and our mind and saying, Lord, you can have complete access and complete this. And this is your body. You do what, what you will with it. And we say that. But do we always mean it? So, y'all, I was in prayer and I realized, y'all, I realized that I got past my woo. I got past my walls, y'all. I got past my walls. The walls were non-existent. I don't know what God did with them. I don't care what he did with them. What I do care about is he heard me. God heard my heart. He listened to me and he helped this wall. I wish I had like some um, special effects <laughs> where this wall would just go away. Like that's how the wall went away. And I was in a place and God in prayer and that wall was gone. Like I'm 
further than this. Like there was a barrier. I, uh, I hope y'all can understand. I know I keep saying wow over and over, but I just hope y'all understand what I'm saying about this wall and how God removed it because it was blocking me from him. And I had to surrender. I had to give him. And then there was another thing I said to the Lord. So anyway, first back to the wall. So the wall is gone. And I was like, Lord, do you see? Like, I'm so amazed. <laughs> I'm so amazed, y'all. I'm so amazed that the walls are gone. Like, and I was telling the Lord, I said, Lord, these walls were crushing me. Like, you know how they have um, on some of the movies, like if they're in a torture chamber and they start having the walls close in and it's like the walls and then the walls that close and you're being crushed. I was being crushed and like I am free. Like when they say free as a bird, when you open that cage, that bird is gone, baby. He is gone, like free. Everything is free. And I was like, Lord, I am free. It's nothing like being, it's not, there's nothing that can compare to the freedom in Christ. I, whoo, yeah, I was, I was, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that those walls are gone. Those walls are super gone. I don't know what God did with them. I'm glad them things is gone. I was being crushed to death. Because I didn't surrender something to the Lord because I was ashamed. I didn't want him to know. How that sound? <laughs> I didn't want him to know and I wanted to handle it myself. How many of us know? Y'all turn to your neighbor, get a mirror and say, you can't do this by yourself. We can't do nothing with, without God. Come on. I, we can't be free without him. Did I say something to somebody today? <laughs> And I wanted to read Psalms 23 real quick. Not the whole scripture, but the Lord, the, the first two verses. The Lord is my best friend and my shepherd. Huh? I always have more than enough. Once we realize how much of God that we have, come on. He offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. He tracks me. He tra his tracks take take me. To an oasis of peace, the quiet brook of bliss. And that's nothing but the first two verses of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. I'm going to talk about that later because we already at about eight minutes. But green pastures, nutrients, rest, beautiful love. And he lets me lay down in that. Even when I had my walls, he still let me lay down in that. And now my walls are gone. I'm going to just walk it. I'm going to jump in it like, uh. <laughs> y'all, thank y'all for watching Queen's Race. Reach out to me. Give me that great big old hug. Babies, be free in God. Take him those walls. Show it to him, Lord. I don't want this no more. And give it to him fully and freely. Tell the Lord that was another thing. Complete access. And when I said it this morning, like I, it, 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 it was a complete access for me. I mean, it, <laughs> it just, it was another level. It was another level. I love y'all. Reach out to me one more time. Great big old hug. I love y'all so much. Share this video. Thank you all for rocking with me. Morning Queen's for riches. I love y'all. <laughs>